here to celebrate our inaugural City of Whittlesea Community Awards. These awards provide an opportunity to acknowledge and to celebrate the extraordinary contributions of people right across the City of Whittlesea. And congratulations to all of you that have been nominated. And also thank you for con your contribution to making the City of Whittlesea truly an amazing place for all. Tonight we have our Chair Administrator, Lydia Wilson, and Administrators Peter Duncan and Chris Eddy with us, as well as the members of the Community Awards Committee and many friends and family members of the nominees. I'd also like to introduce you to, specifically to Chris Eddy, from the City of Whittlesea Administrator, who's going to be our MC this evening. Before I hand over to Chris, I'd like to welcome Uncle Ringo Terrick, who will deliver us our welcome to country. Thanks, Ringo. Thanks so much, Craig. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Can you hear me? Uh, before I um, commence, I'd just like to acknowledge um, the City of Whittlesea, the Council, Mayor, Councillors, and the Executive Board and the Administrator, Chris Eddy, um, MC tonight. Um, and this young lady on the front of the screen, Lydia Wilson, <laughs> Chair of the Administrator. <laughs> I'd also like to acknowledge my elders and ancestors, uh, elders past, present and emerging, and, and um, the, world, the wider Wurundjeri community here in Melbourne and the wider Aboriginal community, and also acknowledge any other First Nations people present here tonight on the broadcast. So, um, yeah, it's that time of year again, um, you know, where the uh, City of Wilsey is, is um, awarding their community awards to, to the nominees and, and, and obviously to the winners. And, and I congratulate all the, all the nominees and the winners of the awards. And, you know, um, we all know where we're living. We're living here on Wurundjeri country where my people, my family have, have, have utilised the resources of this land for, you know, many hundreds of generations of, of, of our mob here in Melbourne and, and, and the surrounding areas. And, and myself, I, I do quite a lot of work out in the field with archaeologists during the week. And um, I can honestly say that, you know, the Wallert area and, and, and those areas out towards Yangyang Reservoir and, and heading towards Whittlesea are, are very rich in culture and, and it's, it's identified by, you know, the amount of artefacts and, and remnants of stone tools that we find, um, you know, as, as, as the urban fringe grows closer to Whittlesea. Um, I go out and work with archaeologists during the week and, and we find, you know, um, massive amounts of artefacts in the landscape out there. So, you know, it tells a story that, you know, um, my family, I'm a direct descendant of William Barrick, who's my great-great-great-grandmother's older brother. So I come straight from the royal family here in Melbourne. And, and you know, um, I know Grandfather Barrick walked that country and, and, and you know, he, done, he walked the walk from Hillsville many times after colonisation of our lands here in, in Melbourne. And, and um, you know, I'm proud to say that I'm a descendant of, of such a great man. And, and, you know, I'm a descendant of probably the oldest living culture in the world. So, you know, I've, sometimes I just have to pinch myself and, and remind myself who I am, you know. Um, I'm also part of the stolen generations and, and you know, I was removed from my family as a child and, and you yeah, encountered a lot of difficulty in my life and, and you know, um, I, can I can certainly bear witness to the struggle and the ongoing struggle just being Aboriginal in this country was hard enough growing up with, but um, I'm really excited. Now, for the, you know, these days that there's a growing awareness and acknowledgement, you know, of country and, and where we are and of the First Nations people. And, and, and you know, um, I think it's, it's, it's a really good thing moving forward in the future. You know, we so many people, I'm, I'm sure lots of the nominees and, and, and lots of your 
ancestors yourselves um, came from, you know, parts of the world far and wide and, and came here to our shores to call this beautiful land your home. So let's celebrate that together. Our home is your home. And, you know, um, I'm also one of the youngest elders in Wurundjeri. Um, I've just turned, I turned 58 next May, so. But, you know, I've lived the life and I've been around Blackfellas all my life and, and I'm a proud Aboriginal man here in Melbourne and, and, and um, I'm also, you know, authorised to deliver the welcome to country tonight. So, um, you know, without further ado, I'd just like to, you know, extend a sincere and warm welcome to everyone that's tuning in tonight and, and um, thank you for the acknowledgement and well done to all the winners and the nominees of, of the City of Whittlesey Community Awards. Momajika, welcome to Wurundjeri and have a, have a, have a great um, evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Uncle Ringo, Woman Jika, and thank you to uh, Craig Lloyd as well for the introduction tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Eddy, one of the administrators here at the City of Whittlesey, and it is my pleasure to be your MC for these proceedings. I'd like to add my respects to elders past and present from the traditional owners of the land from which we're all joining this evening. I'm also really proud to serve a city which has such an outstanding and strong volunteer spirit as we're going to see uh, this evening. We would love, of course, to be able to do this uh, together in person. Uh, unfortunately, we all know uh, that we can't at this point in time. All of our nominees will receive their well-deserved certificates from tonight's proceedings in the mail. The award recipients will have the opportunity to attend a photo shoot in the next few days and I think a, a, a morning tea celebration at some point in time when it's able to do that as well and they'll receive their certificates in person. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our winners won't be able to respond and speak after being uh, acknowledged this evening either due to the technical logistics of uh, putting all that together this evening. So. Uh, bear with us. Uh, we've done our best to come up with a way to truly uh, recognise all of these achievements and do it justice the City of Whittlesea way. To tell you more about the awards, it's my pleasure to now introduce our Chair of Administrators, Lydia Wilson. Hi, Lydia. Hi, Chris, and thank you very much. And on behalf of uh, Council, I too would like to recognise the rich Aboriginal heritage of this country. I'd like to acknowledge Uncle Ringo and the Wurundjeri people past, present and emerging, uh, and thank Uncle Ringo for his personal insights and also for his comments about the rich cultural heritage of parts of the Whittlesea municipality. So thank you, Uncle Ringo. Um, I'm also delighted, along with my colleagues, to welcome you to the inaugural City of Whittlesea Community Awards Ceremony. Uh, and as Craig indicated earlier, the Community Awards recognise the outstanding service of residents who have made a really invaluable contribution to our community in so many different ways. We've got five award categories, Sustainable Environment Citizen of the Year, Young Citizen of the Year, Senior Citizen of the Year, Access and Inclusion Citizen of the Year, and the overall citizen of the year and i'm absolutely thrilled that 23 individuals were nominated for an award across the five categories with a number of people nominated uh, across multiple categories the recipient of each award has been determined by members of the city of whittlesea community awards committee and the members of the committee comprise my colleague Peter Duncan, who is an administrator at the City of Whittlesea, Matthew Bowie, who is a former Australia Day Awards Committee member and chair of the Community Awards Committee, Mahendra Sukda Dow, former Australia Day Awards Committee member, Jenny Nichols, again a former Australia Day Awards Committee member, uh, a colleague of mine, Raymond Rosales, who was a recipient of the 2020 Senior Citizen of the Year Award. Vivian Lai, recipient of the 2020 Young Citizen of the Year Award. Uh, and Dalai Sliman, recipient of the 2020 Access and Inclusion Citizen of the Year Award. 
So a really special welcome to each of you too, all of the committee members, and we really thank you so much for volunteering to be a part of the committee uh, and what has clearly been an incredibly difficult decision-making uh, process associated with the talent that's come forward through the award process. But without further ado, let's get started. I wish we had the opportunity to have some drum rolls uh, as we do some of the announcements, but uh, maybe Chris, you could uh, do some sound effects in the background. Uh, the first category we'll be awarding this evening is Sustainable Environment Citizen of the Year, which is very, very dear to my heart. Uh, the Sustainable Citizen of the Year Award category was open for both individual and group nominations. The committee considered nominations for those who actively responded to and engaged others in environmental issues impacting the City of Whittlesea. They're also looking for a nominee who demonstrated stewardship of our very valued natural landscapes and biodiversity, promoted climate readiness, and showed leadership in sustainable living initiatives. And the nominees for the Sustainable Environment Citizen of the Year 2021 are Carter Rodder. Eight-year-old Carter is passionate about keeping the Plenty Gorge Park Creek free of rubbish. His goal in life is to clean up the planet to help keep Victoria's parks clean for all the wildlife. When he's older, he wants to be a park ranger. I wish I was like that at eight years old. So, wonderful. Uh, a second nominee is Daman Srivastuv. Through his charity, DD's Kitchen, Daman has ensured those who are in need of a hot meal have access to one. Uh, the next nominee is Deborah Henry. Deborah provided hot meals, hampers, and other services to the homeless and those less fortunate in the Whittlesea community with increasing demand, obviously, during the pandemic. Uh, Hansika Sharma, 13-year-old Hansika has been recognised as someone who is driven, approachable and knowledgeable about a wide range of environmental sustainability issues. She actively initiates clubs and campaigns to promote change within her own community. Jim Bannon. Jim is well known as an educator and environmentalist. He's done a lot of work removing bond seed from Plenty Gorge and has inspired many others to do the same. Uh, the next nominee is Christy Severi. Christy is a wildlife rescue volunteer who works tirelessly to support injured wildlife at any time of the day or night. Uh, Nicole Brown. Nicole is an active wildlife rescuer and volunteer with Zoos Victoria. She took part in caring for the koalas injured during the Gippsland bushfires and runs a business that raises the awareness of echo issues. Uh, and finally, Rudra Sekri, 15-year-old Rudra engaged in many community initiatives, including the Whittlesea Youth Environment Action Group and displays outstanding leadership and enthusiasm in her contributions. Uh, as I indicated earlier, uh, and I'm sure you can imagine, it must have been an incredibly tough choice for the committee in their uh, decision-making. Uh, but I'm delighted to be able to announce the award for the Sustainable Environment Citizen of the Year goes to Hansika Sharma. Congratulations, Hansika. And a bit of background about Hansika. Hansika of South Moran might be young, but that hasn't stopped her from taking on a range of environmental issues. From presenting to her schoolmates about the importance of Earth Hour and National Water Week, 
to establishing the Rubbish Eliminators Litter Cleanup Group. Hansika is passionate about getting others involved in tackling climate challenges and valuing natural landscapes. Han, Han, Haniska is an active member of her school's garden club and the Mill Park Library Makers Space and is a founding member of the Youth Leading the World Congress. In 2018, Hansika launched a petition that resulted in the council banning the use of helium balloons in their venues and at their events. And that petition received more than 450 signatures. Our sincere congratulations, Hansika, and well done from all of us. Thank you very much, Lydia, and congratulations to Hansika. That's uh, an amazing achievement. Well done. Next up, we have our Young Citizen of the Year category. This is a category for someone who's made an important contribution and given outstanding service to our community, demonstrating the values that reflect the city of Whittlesea's vision of being a place for all. And they've been a positive role model for others, shown leadership and vision for the future of the community. Administrator Peter Duncan will now tell us who the nominees are. Peter. Thank you, Chris, and good evening, everyone. It's lovely to see you all tonight. This is very exciting, our awards night. Uh, the nominees for the 2021 Young Citizen of the Year Award are uh, Rudra Sekra. Rudra, as mentioned earlier, is a community-minded young person who is highly engaged in efforts to create a sustainable environment. His contribution to the City of Whittlesea's Climate Change Action Plan focus group is especially noteworthy. Our second nominee is Sarah Mason. Sarah has provided outstanding service to the community by helping to create a food drive for people affected by the lockdowns. So well done to both of you and congratulations on your nomination. But the recipient of the City of Whittlesea Young Citizen of the Year Award this year is Rudra Sekra. Congratulations. And I'll just tell you a bit about Rudra, as well as being a member of Thomastown Youth Council and the youth leading the World Congress, 15 year old Rudra Sekra is also involved in many Mill Park Library Maker projects. Um, in your spare time, I don't know when you have spare time doing all the things you've been doing, you're also a podcaster, an ebook author, and you um, regularly participate in research with astronomers from Swinburne University. Wow, that's fantastic. So congratulations, Rudra, very proud of you. Thank you, Peter, and well done, Rudra. I need to find out about your podcast. Always looking for a good <laughs> podcast. And isn't, this, isn't the future of the city of Whittlesea in great hands? So far, we've had some just amazing uh, recognition already. It's time for the Senior Citizen of the Year. And in this category, we're obviously looking for the similar values and traits. Someone has made an important contribution, given outstanding service to the community, demonstrated values that reflect the city of Whittlesea's vision of being a place for all, a positive role model for others, showing leadership and vision for the future of our community. Chair Administrator Lydia Wilson will tell us who the nominees are. Thank you again, Chris. And I'm really pleased to announce that the nominees for the Senior Citizen of the Year 2021 are firstly, Alexandra Letty. And Alexandra is a local artist who enjoys teaching others her craft. Uh, and secondly, Shaukri Sidrak. Shaukri volunteers his time to help the community in a number of ways, including through Whittlesea Community Connections. And the recipient of the City of Whittlesea Senior Citizen of the Year Award is Shaukri Sidrak. Congratulations, Shaukri. <laughs> and you can see the great joy that he has for the um, award. Uh, and if I could perhaps just make a few comments uh, in relation to Shaukri. Shaukri Sidrak has spent more than two decades volunteering his time and expertise to help the city of Whittlesea community. Since settling in Mill Park in 2001, 
Shaukri has provided free tax return assistance to low income earners and has volunteered as a community visitor. He's also a long term volunteer with Whittlesea Community Connections, which is very dear to my heart, given that I'm on the board of Whittlesea Community Connections. And he helps community members in both English and Arabic. Shaukri and his wife deliver free sustainability assessments to local residents and businesses. And on top of all of that, he's also volunteered with the Northern Hospital, Plenty Valley Community Health and Whittlesea U3A, and is a member of the Multifaith Network and the Jewish Christian Muslim Association of Australia. Wow, Shaukri, sincere congratulations from all of us, and what an amazing effort and so well deserved. Congratulations to you. Thank you, Lydia. Congratulations, Shaukri. I don't know where you find the time for all of those <laughs> activities, but we're very, very uh, grateful and in awe, I think, of uh, what you're able to achieve. Great reaction too, wasn't it, Lydia? Wonderful. So next up, we have the Access and Inclusion Citizen of the Year. I think this is a terrific category. This is uh, recognising someone who's made an important contribution, given outstanding service to the community, by particularly including uh, those people whose access to participation is restricted, could be due to physical, social or other challenges that cause that restriction. This person has taken action to improve opportunities for everyone to participate fully and raised awareness of these issues, advocating for our community to be more inclusive. I'm going to hand back to Administrator Peter Duncan now to tell us who the nominees are. Peter. Thanks again, Chris. And we've got quite a long list of nominees for the Access and Inclusion Citizen of the Year for 2021. So we'll get the show on the road here and start to let you know who those people are. So the first uh, nominee is um, Guralim Ba Singh. Alex runs a not-for-profit not theatre group that organised online training and workshop for artists who were struggling during the pandemic, which is fantastic. Then we have Lynn Harris. Lynn is tireless in her commitment with a long history of supporting people with disabilities and promoting opportunities for participation across the municipality. Then we have uh, Nihan Rika and Nihakri Adoa, sorry. Um, Nihakra is uh, founded the not for profit Whittlesea Womanhood Association to help women from different cultures with the challenges of equality, um, health, empowerment. The organisation has also been providing food relief to local women and their families facing hardship during the pandemic. Then our next nominee is uh, Norma Medawar. Norma is a passionate campaigner who works to improve the lives of newly arrived refugees and migrants to the city of Whittlesea. And then we have Sally Pascari. Sally is an inclusion support assistant at the local kindergarten. And throughout the pandemic, Sally ensured that the children she works with feel safe, comfortable, normal and happy. So very good list of nominees right there. Again, it was a tough call for the committee with such um, great nominees, but that being said, the Access and Inclusion Citizen, Citizen of the Year Award for 2021 is awarded to Lynn Harris. <laughs> yes, you, Lynn, you look shocked. <laughs> um, just, I'll just tell you a bit about Lynn. Congratulations, Lynn. Um, more than 30 years ago, Lynn Harris joined a small volunteer group in Mill Park. Since then, she has played an active role in establishing the Mill Park Community House and the Mill Park Adult Training and Support Service, which provides support to more than 200 people with a disability. That is just fantastic. Lynn is a, a resident of Bandura, but continues to work for a range of community organisations, including the Whittlesea Disability Network, and she provides advice to the Mill Park Mental Health Fellowship and the Janefield Neuro Club and Mill Park uh, Recycled Teenagers. Once again, Lynn, congratulations. Well done. Thanks very much, Peter. Congratulations, Lynn. It's such a shame we can't hear the reactions from the 
Yeah, it's another reason to, uh, can't wait to see the end of this wretched pandemic, but uh, well done. Next up, it's the Citizen of the Year. This is the big one, folks. This is what you've all come for. Actually, you're here for all of them, of course. But the Citizen of the Year is someone who's made an important contribution and given outstanding service to the community of Whittlesea. And in doing so, they've demonstrated values that reflect the city of Whittlesea's vision of being a place for all. They've been a positive role model for others. They've shown leadership and vision for the future of our community. And to tell us who the nominees are, it's a pleasure to welcome back Chair Administrator Lydia Wilson. Thank you, Chris. Uh, and can I say at the outset how unbelievably thrilled we all were, the committee, but also administrators, to receive so many nominations in this category, uh, in many of the categories, in fact. Uh, so without further ado, the nominees for the Citizen of the Year 2021 are firstly Damon Shivastav. As mentioned earlier, Damon has provided fantastic selfless service to the community through his charity DD's Kitchen during the pandemic. Secondly, Deborah Henry, also nominated for more than one award. Deborah has provided hot meals, hampers, and other services to the homeless and those less fortunate in the Whittlesea community with increasing demand during the pandemic. Gurinda Kaur, throughout the pandemic, Gurinda has, amongst other things, worked to increase food collection and distribution through sick community connections. Uh, the next nominee is Josie Sicconi miniti and Josie has spent many years fundraising for the oncology department of the Northern Hospital. Mannix Santos. Mannix is a local delivery person who is always friendly, is always smiling, and goes the extra mile to make people feel special. Uh, the annex nominee is Nicole Brown. Another multi nominee, Nicole is heavily involved in a local wildlife rescue group uh, and animal advocacy. Uh, Scott Brander. Scott has volunteered as a basketball, football and netball coach for many years and heavily involved in the Whittlesea Football and Netball Club. Uh, Sheena Shrezda. Sheena provides support and representation to the many international students who reside in the city of Whittlesea. And finally, Tim Purdy. Tim is a district leader for the Whittlesea District Scouts and is an amazing community leader. Well, everyone who has been nominated is an amazing community leader and it's wonderful to have such a rich and very talented group of people as nominees. So my task is to announce the recipient of the City of Whittlesea 2021 Citizen of the Year. And it goes to Daman Srivastav. Congratulations. <laughs> you can see the joy uh, on Shaman's face and also his, uh, his family. So really sincere congratulations to you. So a little bit of information about Daman. Through his volunteer work, which goes back a long way and spans more than one continent, Daman has had an especially significant impact in the city of Whittlesea during the pandemic. A resident of South Moran, Daman is well known for his charity, Dee's Kitchen. Dee's Kitchen worked overtime during the pandemic, providing free hot meals to stranded international students and anyone else in need. The Dee's Kitchen team also provided much needed food supplies and meals to Shepparton and Ballarat communities during their lockdowns. How amazing, really. And they even launched a YouTube channel to provide cooking tutorials to children and young people while, while they were stuck at home. 
What an absolutely amazing effort over many, many years, not just during the pandemic. Uh, and we sincerely congratulate you, Darman, for your exceptional efforts on behalf of the city of Whittlesea and our community, but clearly on behalf of other communities as well. It's a wonderful, wonderful achievement. So again, congratulations. Wish that we did have, um, as Administrator Eddie, the opportunity uh, for our award recipients to be able to say a few words, but unfortunately that's not been possible tonight, but there will be other occasions whereby we will be able to celebrate with you. Uh, we're very keen, all the administrators and our CEO and other staff are keen to meet the nominees and the award uh, recipients. Uh, and I know that there will be a, a number of opportunities coming up in the very near future. So a big congratulation to all of the nominees and all of our award recipients tonight. You can really see from uh, the presentation this evening that so many people are the heart and soul of our community and really make the Little Sea community so rich in relation to community support and really looking out for one another. So we all thank you on behalf of Council for your amazing efforts. And again, we really need to acknowledge the committee, uh, the award committee who have had the awful task <laughs> from such a talented number of nominees of having to select the recipients of the various awards. But we thank you all and we really hope that you all have had a lovely evening and that we can meet with you in person in the near future. But I did just want to put in a little plug, if I could, on behalf of the city, uh, that we will very shortly be um, rolling out and, and having a formal launch of our community leadership program. And we can see that there are so many people in attendance this evening, so many nominees and recipients of the various awards who might like to consider whether you would like to participate in our community leadership program. Uh, if you go on the council's website, you'll find out the details about that program uh, and uh, the, um, the launch of the community leadership program will be at 7 p.m. on the 11th of November. So let's hope that some of this very rich talent that we have in attendance this evening might like to consider whether you'd like to be part of the Whittlesea Community Leadership Program. And again, on that note, thank you all for your attendance this evening. Thank you for the contribution you make to our community uh, and a really good evening to all of you. Bye from all of us.